Hi there, this is Vanessa. Today I'm going to introduce six different online businesses that are profitable that will be even more profitable in 2020. So if you've been looking for something to do to be able to quit your job and you want to find a job that could be sustainable, which means it'll make enough money if you put the time and the effort into it, these are the ones you want to look at for 2020. Number one is infopreneur. Now, what is an infopreneur? An infopreneur is somebody that coaches other people or they're a consultant for other people. You have to find something that you're really good at. Let's say you're really good with health and fitness. You've always been fit. You've always um, lived that lifestyle, never helped other people. You just kind of done it. Well, if you start a coaching business, you don't have to sell these people products or workout program. Your job would be to coach them and to lead them into the right direction. Now you could add those elements into it. We'll talk about that in a, in a little bit about affiliate marketing, but in general, we all know we need to eat, right? We all need, we, we all know we need to exercise, but why do people hire coaches? to keep them on track and keep them accountable. And a lot of people don't want to leave the house anymore and go to a gym. So it's a perfect business to start. Very little cash that you need up front. You might need um, to start a YouTube video or something like that, but very little cash up front. And it's one-on-one -on -one and you can charge a high ticket amount for that business. Now, in that business, you, what are some other things you could do? You could do music consulting. Um, what else are find something, uh, let's say playing the piano or the guitar. You could give lessons over the internet, believe it or not. Think outside the box. What do you have a gift for and start a coaching or consulting business that other people can benefit from it. Now I'm going to go into number two from here. A lot of, a lot of you are thinking, well, I can only coach so many people at a time. So I'm still kind of limited in what my income level is. Absolutely. I wouldn't recommend coaching more than maybe 10 people at a time. If you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, that would be two calls every day, you know, for five days a week and really putting in the time and effort to help these people. But now you can start making a course. You've become an expert at coaching. You know all the ins and outs of the business. You know the, the problems that need to be solved and you have the solutions for those problems. You can turn that business into a course. So instead of somebody coming to you one-on-one, -on -one, you can give them everything that you've been giving your clients in a course. You've already built up a clientele. You have traffic coming to your website or to your YouTube channel, whatever, wherever you're um, promoting yourself on social media, you have that traffic coming in. Now you can start selling a course and you've really know all the ins and outs of what you've been doing. And you can put all that into a course. Now you can reach thousands of people with the same information and you can still continue to coach and go back in and tweak those courses. But those are definitely two profitable, highly profitable businesses for 2020 that you want to now, number three, and my favorite, is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is the easiest business to start. You don't have to build a product or create something. You go out and sell other people's products. Let me give you an example. Um, there's a program called TubeBuddy, which helps people run their YouTube channel. It helps with SEO and, and putting tags and... Uh, making their thumbnails. I mean, everything you can think of, the analytics and all these different added benefits that YouTube itself doesn't provide. And you can encourage other people to sign up for TubeBuddy and then you get a commission. So you're selling a membership to something. And the nice thing about memberships is it's a recurring commission. You get that every month, a certain percent. Every industry, every tool out there that has an affiliate program is different. Some of them only offer 10% and I've seen them go as high as 30%. Some of them only give you a commission for the first year. Others give it to you for the lifetime. So when you look into affiliate marketing memberships, make sure you have all that information before you start. Now, let's say you just want to sell some products. You're in the health and fitness industry and you want to start promoting a certain uh, fitness program, Beachbody. There you go. Beachbody's big. There's other ones out there. There's other people that have made their own programs, but you could encourage people to start using that program and then you can get a retail percentage off of that. Maybe you find a shake that you want to sell, not necessarily Beachbody, but maybe something else. You can go find a shake that's been very successful or some kind of other health and fitness products and you can sell those and earn an affiliate commission on those. Um, you can really start, really go big with this. You could start a website where you have blogs and you talk about um, different weights that you can use or different yoga mats and different things like that. And you're selling those products as you're talking about them with affiliate links. And you might say, well, how do I get all these products? 
Amazon Associates has all those products and when you take their links put them into your website people buy them you'll earn roughly seven to nine percent but hey it's it's money right so the only thing I want to caution you on as I'm talking about this is make sure you choose a niche now you heard me talking about health and fitness you didn't hear me say oh and if you want to sell some cat toys <laughs> for your cat we'll throw those in there you want to stay within your niche you want to talk about health and fitness and stick to it you can even narrow that down maybe you only want to talk about health and fitness for women or for men or for people of certain ages or maybe only stick with weights and not yoga so do you see how you can keep narrowing it down and then your audience comes comes to you because you're an expert in those different areas so affiliate marketing is definitely something you would want to look at it's the easiest thing to make money and there's always opportunity for adding more products to your list um, that you want to earn those commissions now if you don't want to be an entrepreneur you don't want to be a coach and you don't want to do all that you know work with people in those ways maybe you kind of like to be the background person you don't want to be the person making YouTube videos and blogs and all that stuff the front man is what I call it but because the infopreneur business is getting so big and the affiliate marketing business people start out all by themselves working and then their business gets bigger and bigger and bigger and they have to hire other people to help them so you could be that person you could become a virtual assistant virtual assistants do things like make Facebook banners they post on social media for other people they may be just their um, a service representative where they go into the emails and take care of all the comments and things in there answering the emails not answering the phone but the emails um, some people do have phones and they hire people to answer those as well especially if they start a coaching business they have to go through a process of talking to somebody first before they're accepted into the program because not everybody's ready for that um, so a lot of your coaches out there will definitely screen you first and not accept you unless you're ready for that step um, what are other things that you can do you could um, like I said post on social media for people you could become an expert on one platform if you want you could just say I am an expert with posting on Instagram and that's all I want to do I actually hired an expert myself for one platform and she does everything on there and I don't have to touch it but she she specifically only takes care of that one platform and that just eases my mind as the infopreneur as a front guy whatever you want to call it um, so that I don't have to worry about it so definitely every person who starts a business online that is an infopreneur will eventually need you as a virtual assistant you could be a jack-of-all-trades for people who are really small and they might need you for several things or you can master be a master in one specific area raise your prices a little bit and maybe go help somebody who has a bigger business um, that can afford to hire you so it's, it all depends on what you're looking for now I kind of mentioned this in that one as a virtual assistant but we usually call a person who becomes a master in one area a micro agency meaning that you only offer one service so again let's go back to Instagram or Pinterest you become a master at that like go into Pinterest and find out about backlinks and groups and all those things that they do in Pinterest and become a master and know how to post and get the followers up and 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 all that stuff then you can uh, charge a higher price like I was saying and you would pretty much be running a micro agency like I am a master an expert in this one uh, area maybe you like to build funnels you could become a micro agency and fixing other people's funnels which I think is a highly highly needed area there's so many people that get into the business and they want to make sales funnels and you go through the training and sometimes you're just not sure what you're doing wrong so a person that's really good at that you could call yourself a funnel fix agency or something like that but you become a, ma a master at it and you can charge higher prices for your expert gift or skill the net the last one I have is content creator um, you have people that are experts like in photo photography or video graphers or editors or copyright things like that that definitely can help any business grow if you have a gift in any of those areas then definitely put yourself out there and people will hire you I'm going to put a link below um, through fiverr.com where you can offer yourself um, to get started through that company through that business and offer your businesses through there and other 
um, infopreneurs and people that are starting their businesses will go in looking for you and you can start your business there. I notice a lot of people start out with lower prices just to, to get some testimonials and then it grows from there. But if you've already got some testimonials, you've already been in the business, then go in there and price yourself where you're you, you believe that you know your skills are and and look at where everybody else is pricing theirs i've seen them from ten dollars to make a ebook cover all the way up to like 60. logos you can find them for 15 dollars all the way up to 150. so you know you price yourself where you believe your skills are and get in there and start getting some customers the more testimonials you get and the more that you're out there people will find you and, and and read those testimonials and be more than happy to hire you but those are six businesses that you can start in 2020 guaranteed they will be profitable you do have to put some time and effort into them most of them don't have a lot of upfront money and when i say upfront money yeah if you're going to start making youtube videos you're going to need a camera or you know and you can get them as cheap as 50 dollars, but eventually you might want something better um, microphone things like that you can get started for under two hundred dollars or you can start out just using your iphone or your phone um that was a plug um but anyway you, there are going to be expenses here and there there's going to be different tools that you need but you it, it's minimal it's not like you have to go to the bank and get a loan um, and spend five or six thousand dollars and that's what i mean by minimal expenses and that's what's exciting about these businesses and how our culture is going in this direction where we can make money online but you have to be determined you have to be disciplined and you have to be teachable and coachable um, so that you can learn the skills that you need to be successful in that business so pick one tell me in the chat below or the comments below which one you think you would like to explore some more and if you are in any of those businesses and you want to share um, your experiences then feel free to share those as well. Don't forget to subscribe. I post a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then hit that notification button and you'll be notified when I post. Usually I post at 3.30 in the afternoon, my time in Ohio, USA. So again, thank you for listening. I hope that that helped you because I know it can be so overwhelming in the beginning to try to figure out what it is you wanna do. And you know what's neat? Maybe you start out in one area, and you think that's what you want to do and you you kind of find out well i think i want to do this instead it's okay it's okay and that's what's so cool about starting your own business you'll find your niche you'll find the place that you need to be and you'll find a way to get your voice heard and i'll see you on the next video again thanks for watching